for braces. If you are getting your braces on soon or just got them on, you should be able to learn a lot <laughs> from this video. Um, or even if you've had them on for a while now, you'll still learn a couple of things. Also, at the end of this video, I'm showing you my experience of getting my braces off, which was craziness. And I'm so glad that they're off, finally. So, yeah, I hope you like it. Make sure to like and subscribe, because in an upcoming video, I'm making a vlog with my best friend. So, make sure you subscribe so you can see it. I'm going to start off with the little orthodontic box that they gave me. I don't know how you'd call that, like orthodontics, I don't even know. Most of the stuff in that box has now been ruined by me in desperate attempts to solve any pain of cuts. <sighs> I would have so many cuts on my gums from braces because me being a chipper and everything, I get whacked in the face, okay? and so your gums like stick onto your brackets basically and it causes little cuts and they really hurt but fear no more because there's ones for adults too but I used baby Origel it's basically stuff for babies when they're teething and their gums are really hurting but when you get a cut on like your inner lip or something you just put a little bit on and it numbs it it's good also a lot of people are like, just use the wax. The stupid wax that they give you. The wax does not stick on. If the wax stuck on for you and you have braces, I'm very jealous because this wax does not do anything for me. It just like comes off immediately. Like, I got it on once and it stayed for five minutes. <coughs> what? Like, you're supposed to be helping me, but instead you're just like putting wax in my mouth doing literally nothing. The first appointment is so much worse than the rest and if you are new like it will get better okay you will get used to it you will get used to the cuts in your mouth and like after a while you'll just have like, like callus on the inside basically like the last year like I had my braces on for two years and the last year I never got cuts the first year it was horrible afterwards my mouth was just calloused you know, in a way, I kind of think that's cool because I get to brag like, oh, I don't feel pain in my mouth anymore. Like, you haven't had braces. Oh, it hurts when you bite your cheek. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, I don't feel that anymore. Also, especially in your first appointment and all your other appointments too, take ibuprofen beforehand. Especially if it's like a big one, like you're getting a bigger wire or you're getting power chains. Or like, even if you're first getting them on, which is the worst. Like, you will need ibuprofen, lots, Motrin, Aleve, literally anything, but take it beforehand, because even like when I first walked out my first appointment, I was like, oh, I'm not even hurting yet, like it can't be that bad. However, about like five minutes later, it started hurting like crazy. So you want to take it beforehand so that way you don't have to wait for it to kick in. Take chapstick with you, put it on before, putting on like in the middle when they've stopped for a second, like you will need chapstick because your lips basically the whole time are being like pulled apart, like so they can see her like you know and your lips get so chapped and they crack like crazy so bring chapstick and you'll be so much more comfortable because with braces like the best thing is to have a really comfortable experience with it you will break brackets everyone breaks at least one bracket in their whole experience of everything however in my case I broke like a bracket like once a month it wasn't very good I probably could have tried harder but it was fine. Another thing you will definitely need for your braces are these little Christmas tree brushes. They say gum on them and they have like 20 packs of them in Walmart and they just kind of go between your brackets. However, I cannot demonstrate anymore because I don't have braces on anymore and it's especially good for once you get your power chains during like the end of your time in braces. That sounds like you're like serving time in jail. Power chains were very difficult because you tried the best to floss. But they just like, you can't get the stuff in between the power chains. So, invest in a water pick. I made the decision of not investing in a water pick, and I kind of wish I had ahead of time. Power chains, it's very necessary because it's so hard to get it out. So, you need to get these ones, the big ones, and that like actually bends. The other ones like don't, and it really hurts when it goes to your brackets. It like, my gums are very sensitive. They bleed a lot, as you can tell, because I still have blood from 
yesterday getting them off. So you will need the good, the good flossers because these ones just hurt. Like they just like barely go through and they're really thick and it's just not very good. And yes, ice cream is good. Do not get like really hard thick ice cream because then at that point you're just biting into really hard cold stuff. And I have sensitive teeth so like that was even worse for me. Like you have to make sure it's like Tillamook or something really soft. Okay, because if it's like really hard and you have to bite into it hard to like actually eat the ice cream, it's just not good. So make sure if you are going to get ice cream, you get soft kind is mashed potatoes. Okay, mashed potatoes saved me when I didn't feel like eating anything after like big appointments. So mashed potatoes will save you so you actually can eat something like savory, you know, because we can't just eat ice cream of like a week at a time basically. You can totally eat sugar free gum. I had to have these stupid little band things that like go on it because to fix my overbite and sugar free gum is even helping that because then you can chew and your overbite will fix itself. However mine, it didn't really fix itself so much. It could have been better but yeah, chew sugar free gum especially if you have these little suckers on so it gets better. Also, Please wear your bands if you have them. I like would spend hours at a time not wearing them and I really should have them because it's freaking expensive so yeah. If you are getting your braces off very soon or you already have them off, you're probably wearing a retainer at least at night but for me I have to wear them in the day as well for four months and I totally recommend getting one of these little tile things. Oh, can you read that? It's, the sun is so bad right now. Okay these little tile things and you download an app on your phone and then you can like ring it at any time like you just press a button on your phone and it like makes a little beeping noise and it has like a GPS in it so you can always see where your retainer is because these things are like $400 to replace if you don't have insurance on them so really like put a GPS in your retainer kit please do not wrap them in paper towels once you take them out because that's how they get accidentally thrown away because you don't see it and then you throw away something worth $400 that could be the reason why your teeth don't stay straight yeah I know I sound like every other adult or person in your life but please wear your retainers you just spent like $5,000 probably mostly paid by insurance but still I mean you just spent a lot of money on braces only for your teeth to get messed up once again because you didn't want to wear your retainer it's literally not that bad and you only talk funny for the first couple of days like oh I have a lisp <laughs> like no wear your retainer keep your teeth straight okay <sighs> which leads me to another thing keep in mind if you have not gotten your braces on yet or you just did that you could have extra extra things added onto your bill like for example some places charge you for broken brackets and some places charge you for retainers as well so please know that because you could have extra fees due to retainers or broken brackets and I mean those things are just gonna happen and you have to wear a retainer afterwards unless you've had them on for like 50 years of braces which obviously you haven't so it's okay So that is all of my tips and tricks for now, and now I'm going to go ahead and show you a video of my experience of getting them off. Okay, so it is the day that I finally get my braces off, and I really don't know what to expect. I haven't like felt my teeth without giant metal pieces in <laughs> two years, so it's going to be very interesting. Okay, so cheer practice is over and we're heading over to the orthodontist and I'm very nervous and I have my shirt on for my dentist place because we have to rep and it's like the most important day of me being there. So, I'm very excited. I'm so excited. Oh, oops, I covered it. I'm so excited. Alright, so we're now is removing all the brackets. And then we'll get all the glue off your teeth. Get you all cleaned up. Check your oh bite, gosh, okay? that's it. Smile big here. Your advanced throws it on after you have some super cool glue, cool glue with some pseudo blue black light. Mm -hmm. 
Because it's so squishy. Like, I haven't felt my gums in a while. Oh my god! I can't believe that's how my teeth look. It doesn't look like me. Like, I look at myself and I'm like, who is that? Like, that's not me. Do I have a lisp? No. But you do yeah. have glasses. Uh, if I take them off, I'm not going to be able to see anything. But the camera can see your... But you look so different. I look so different. Oh my gosh. Ah, I don't even notice myself. Okay, my turn the air on. Myself. Hi. Okay. Bye! Thank you for watching this video. <laughs>